hello everyone welcome back to my channel so everybody la unica and happy new year this is the first video of the you know new year or whatnot and we're gonna start off with a mukbang so i got my mac and cheese here i got my apple juice and water because i always have two bevs and i'm gonna be sharing with you guys five life lessons that i learned in 2022 so just a you know a little recap of 2022 honestly it was one of the best years of my life like your girl went on vacation um our community started growing not only here but also on instagram and on tiktok so like it was a lot but it was a lot in a good way and a lot of things um behind the scenes as well were happening like really good things you know obviously i'm not about to be um over positive or whatever obviously you know i had my ups and downs and stuff like that but that's what made it such a good year that even though yes at the moment i thought i was down i thought i lost everything but now the place that i'm in in life i didn't lose anything in fact that made me go even harder and in the long run i learned that i won at the end of the day so we're gonna be sharing that so grab your food get if you're getting your makeup done get it done girl whatever you doing right now do it with me and let's have a sit down okay so life lesson number one was no i'm not even gonna lie to you the first two life lessons that i learned is kind of cliche because everybody says it but it's honestly true letting go now i know that's a big one i know that's so hard for people to do because as a human we're so stubborn and so prideful that like some of us majority of us are very scared of change so me personally like i didn't want to let go of certain things because i felt like i was a very dependent person like if that person wasn't in my life i wasn't gonna be happy or if uh this certain feeling wasn't there i would you know start panicking you know so i was a very dependent person on the wrong people you know shouldn't never depend on nobody but that's gonna come later um so then when i started my healing journey i i was learning how to let go because obviously um it doesn't happen overnight you know whether it's like a bat <clears throat> oh i almost died anyway whether it's a bad habit that you have that you're trying to let go or like a very toxic person in your life that you're like trying to let go it's always hard to let go but the harder you hold on i mean the more you hold on the harder it's gonna be so and that is very true in fact so i decided day by day to you know start letting go um start praying that's a big one but we're gonna get to that we're gonna get to that started praying i started actually talking um to my dad to my very very closest friends because i don't share my information like that with anybody so i would vent to people and stuff like that they would give me advice but also i would um have a conversation with myself if that makes sense you know the, the right people are gonna know what i'm trying to say but overall i did let go of a lot of things and i'm so so grateful for that because i would not be where i am right now like because i let go i'm so proud of myself like of the growth i did over 2022 and it's not done it's not done because i'm still growing i'm still making mistakes i'm still learning like all those things that i'm doing is what made me the person that i am today and it's gonna make me the person in the future if that makes sense you know but letting go was definitely hard but it was so worth it in the long run like literally so worth it so we're gonna move on to number two okay <clears throat> so number two another cliche but put yourself first now this is a big one this is a big one in order for me to put myself first i had to let go of certain things that no longer served me benefit me or was disturbing my peace so 
when I say that, like, like I said, I was a um, very dependent person. I was a people pleaser and stuff. So when I put myself first, I never realized how many dead plants I was watering. How many people stopped hitting my jack? How many people stopped looking for me for certain things? And when I put myself first, I noticed all of that. That's why I kept going and going with this healing journey and stuff. And, I, and I'm still going through, of course. Like, hey, I'm nowhere near finished, okay? But that's the beauty of putting yourself first, okay? Because you know what you're worth. At the time, I thought I had, a, I had an idea of what I was worth. But now, me right now, I definitely know what I'm worth. And I'm not worth the bare minimum, okay? That goes for relationships and friendships. And family, too. Hmm. So... I'm not about to lower my standards for nobody else. Hell no. I wouldn't. Yo. I pray to God every day that I don't try to lower my standards for anybody ever again. Because if I look, when I look back of the things I used to tolerate and try to, you know, cover up, like sweep under the rug. I was so disgusted with myself. I was like, I really did that? Like, why? Why would I do that to myself? Why? But, you know everything happens for a reason you know so i thank god for uh like giving me the strength to put myself first because a lot of people huh ciao a lot of people are so stuck in their ways and they're like so small-minded and so ignorant that they didn't even know the people they're hurting like they don't even know and not that i was hurting anybody i was mm, hurting myself i was hurting myself and i knew i was hurting myself but i was like in denial that i didn't want to do it like nah this can't be i'm not bugging because you know sometimes sometimes we be tripping i can't lie i be tripping sometimes i can't even lie but during that time i was not tripping uh-uh huh whatever i was believing it was most definitely true so when I tell people to, like, put yourself first, like, listen, it's going to be hard. Huh, bitch, because this ain't no piece of cake, okay? No, no, it's not. It's a bitter-ass cake at first, okay? But when you, like, finally realize that peace, happiness, love, and pure, genuine energy uh, is what you deserve, you are going to realize that, like, putting yourself was probably like the biggest achievement you ever did so speaking of that we're gonna go on to number three number three i love this one because that's um the life lesson i'm still learning don't expect anything from anyone let me say that again don't is expect anything from anyone what i mean by that is don't expect your boyfriend to buy you flowers don't expect him to take you on dates don't expect him to do anything and not even about boyfriends don't your friends don't expect them don't expect your friends to invite you everywhere don't expect them to share every you know little detail of their life because nobody's required to do anything nobody owns anybody nobody belongs to anybody like all that claiming like no because when you expect things from people you will get so disappointed like yo i would expect so much from people that like it was disgusting i'm not even lying bro like i used to like put up with so much mainly because like you know what, I'm just going to have my patience, you know, I'm, I'm just going to be calm with it. Not now. No, 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 no. Hell no. If I feel disrespected or I feel uncomfortable in any situation, any way, shape, or form, I have the right to speak up and my feelings are always valid, okay? I don't like the fact that, like, people want to shut down because, like, you know, I'm trying to be less reactive, you know, this which is true, not everything deserves a reaction. 
But when you're dis being disrespected publicly, oh babe, ooh, I'ma disrespect the fuck out of you, okay? So that's what I say. Don't expect anything from anybody because nobody owes you anything. The only thing you owe yourself is your own respect, okay? You own your own respect. You your own love, your own happiness, your own care. All of that, that's you. You require that. Nobody's required to do anything for you or anybody at that fact, you know? Don't get attached to people because that's the only way you get hurt, okay? Uh, don't get too close to anybody because you don't know who's going to switch up in the long run, which is true. That's why you got to pray to God that he put genuine people in your life so they don't do you dirty. Because, yes, life sucks. Life sucks hard hard okay and i'm just experiencing life right now I, we all are okay as young adults let me tell you something this is just the beginning this is just the beginning okay that being said like um yeah okay as i was saying i got lost but life yes life sucked life is gonna suck you're gonna have bad days some sometimes you're gonna have a whole bad month a bad week whatever but that's that you're allowing that to happen to you okay you are allowing that if you keep telling yourself like damn this person left me i was so happy i was happy with you if you can't make yourself happy nobody should make you happy no you if you require people to make you happy don't be in a relationship please don't because you're going to get hurt you're gonna get heartbroken you're going to possibly get cheated on. Who knows? But you are going to get hurt if you keep depending on these people. Don't expect anything from anyone. The only thing that you should expect from someone is yourself. The person within you. Your own soul. Okay? Don't expect anything to anyone. Or anyone to anything. Saying, you know what I'm talking about, right? Good. So, we're number two. Okay. Let's move on to number four. Number four mind your business yo bro 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 mind your business when i tell you bro i stopped reaching out to certain people because i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i was a little messy just a little bit just a little bit though like chill like like this wrong I was a bit messy, you know. That that was my high school days. Like, give me a break, bro. It's just a break. Like, in middle school, too, I'm not gonna lie. But I ain't messy no more. No. But ever since I started, like, doing me and um focusing on, like, only me, and obviously, you know, the small um people I have in my circle, of course, you know, I'm going to worry about them always, but mo mainly me, you know, me first. But ever since, like, I started filming YouTube and started doing TikToks and Reels and stuff like that, like, bro, I be, like, I wasn't worried about anybody. Like, I don't, I didn't, I don't care who has the latest designer shoes, who got the newest, uh, Bentley, all these celebrities were doing, like, I was honestly just in my zone. Like, I was, huh, babe, I was in motion. Like, I, I had that motion in me, that, like, motivation, that discipline. And when I realized, like, when I saw my potential, because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something real quick. This, this right here, this channel, the, you know, this is just the beginning. Let me just tell you that right now. This is just the beginning. And you're going to remember when I said that in this video. Just remember. But, ah, oh, sorry. As I was saying, oh, yeah. So, like, ever since um I saw my potential and I saw my channel growing, when I first hit my first K, like, on YouTube, uh, and that haul video, I was like, hold on. We might get something here, you know? We, we're getting somewhere. Then I saw I hit 3K, 5K. And right now it's at 6K almost 7k that's seven almost seven people watching little old me like 
mind it's it's mind blowing what you can do when you mind your business like mind your business focus on you focus on your potential and how you could multiply it into you know not multiply it distribute it into different things and you're gonna see your own growth bro like i'm not gonna lie bro. when i saw that i was like this tough this tough <laughs> like i was so and then my my dad was so proud of me and also when i um got my first brand deal uh as a campus ambassador for blush mark when i got my amazon um storefront as well that was really big for me because i love amazon like with all my heart so like y'all know i'm gonna find you the good the good things you know what else when uh my first tiktok video when oh my tattoo video when i went to get a tattoo and it hit like 15 it's at 15k right now point something and then the video with my mom as well that is at 22k like when you focus on yourself and just yourself believe in god do things with what you gotta do you are going to accomplish so much and the reason why like i started doing you because all right a little story i've been doing youtube like been doing youtube probably like middle school and i even remember my first video and everything but i was so shy bro i was so shy like it was unbelievable like yo bro like i was a really shy person i'm i kind of am like if i don't really fuck with you like that i'm gonna be like mm. but once i get comfortable babe you're gonna know like i'm a really talkative person but that's besides what i'm getting sidetracked but when i was younger i used to be a really shy girl like i was so shy bro oh my god i was so shy so nervous and i was always like um i always cared about what other people thought about me like i always wanted to be liked I always wanted people to like be nice to me and so when i started doing youtube like i just erased every video because like nah that nah they're gonna make fun of me at school nah 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 i can't i can't also in high school too in high school i started it again or whatever but the same thing like that fear i was like nah bro i can't nah 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 nah, nah. like it was the fear getting to me but then when i got to college i was like you know what fuck it bro fuck it i'm gonna do youtube like i i'm not gonna be scared no more like i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and look what happened see what happens when you believe in yourself believe in yourselves like come on now who said you're gonna be looking dumb who who huh like and i'm so bro i'm gonna be so hyped right now because like i'm it's just so heartwarming when you believe in yourself when you tell yourself like bro you got this fuck what people say fuck fuck their opinions well whatever they got going on because at the end of the day they ain't true they ain't got your story out of here like what but let's move on to the last and final life lesson the fifth and final life lesson is don't change who you are just change the people in your surroundings. Let me say that again. Don't change who you are. Just change the people in your surroundings. So, what I mean by that is, if you're constantly hanging around, excuse me, I'm so sorry, y'all. But if you're constantly hanging around with people that don't got a job, who like don't have no ambition no goals not anything going for themselves always in drama or some side of, some kind of trouble if you're hanging out with those pe people type of people i need you to reevaluate your life all right now because let me tell you something the other day me and my dad were talking about something like this and he was saying that like it you as a person don't change is people people make you change and when he said that, I was like, damn. Yo, bro, I kid you not. Like, I got, whole, like, shivers when he said that because it's so true. As a person, as a human, we don't change. But if, as life progresses and life goes on, 
we meet different people we see different people we hear different types of things and that's what changes you yourself no 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 it's not yourself that changes it's the people around you the people you surround yourself with that change you okay now here's the difference if you are around people who have jobs or have their own businesses you know have some motion going on you know mind their business are genuine genuine friends who do support you who do love you who do care about you and are always going to be there for you i guarantee you bro you are going to see a whole different perspective of life a whole different per perspective of life than you hanging around with gangbangers who all they want to do is smoke all day like get you a job bro get a job like stop I stopped hanging out with those people a long time ago. And, bro, let me tell you something. I legit only have, like, four friends. I started cutting everybody off. This, that, and that. I don't care. I, I didn't care. I had to wipe my hands clean because at the end of the day, you're not going to pay my bills. You're not going to give me money to buy food. You're not going to give me money to do my damn laundry. So, I have. it's up to me to step it up. And be like, nah, I can't hang around these type of people no more. Like, with that negative energy just raiding off the earth. Like, no, I, I couldn't do it. And I legit only have four friends. Do we talk every day? No. But if they need me, tch, what's up? What? Mm-hmm. Like, and I know what's it hard. They're also there, that there for me too. Like if I needed something, if I just needed a van real quick, they're gonna be there for me and stuff like that. So surround yourself with people, like with the same, not the same mindset, but similar mindset, similar um, what's it called? Like hobbies or like activities, you know, something around that realm. And you're going to see a whole different perspective of life, bro. Like, for real. Because if you're the one who's broke, who's this, who's that, who's going to call? Who are you going to call? Or who's going to call you to check up on you? Yo, bro, you ate today. You, you need $20? Yo, bro, this, uh, yo, come to my crib and sleep. Ain't nobody going to do that for you. Huh? Out of all the 20 friends you have, probably one or two are going to be there for you. And lucky if it's two. Huh? Lucky enough. Okay? But... That is the end of this video. I'm, I hope you guys did learn something from this because it's 2023 right now, even though it don't feel like it. But it's 2023. We really have to step up our games, you know, like, you, you gotta have motion, bro. Like, the way the economy is going down, inflation is rising up, bro. The only person you need to worry about is yourself. That's it that's all so i really hope you guys did learn something from my life lessons or if you did go through something similar please share it down in the comments um also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because we're almost at 400 400 subscribers okay so i'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye